Three In-N-Out burgers. Three orders of In-N-Out fries. Three In-N-Out cheeseburgers. Three In-N-Out double doubles. Nine In-N-Out milkshakes. This is the entire In-N-Out menu times three. And it just wasn't enough calories for me. Because if I can take all this down, then I'm gonna have some dessert afterwards. Everybody, it is time to get this food challenge officially started. For the first time in the history of my channel, I'm attempting to take down an entire menu times three. I have three orders of fries, three regular burgers, three cheeseburgers, three double doubles, and nine shakes. To clarify, this entire menu challenge consists of everything on In-N-Out's regular menu. At the top is the delicious double double, below that is the oh so tasty cheeseburger, and below that is the ever so tasty hamburger, and below that are the fresh french fries, and below that, In-N-Out serves chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry shakes. Since this is a regular menu challenge, that means items like the three x three and the four x four, which are on the not so secret menu, aren't included in this challenge. The hardest part of this challenge is without a doubt going to be the shakes. One shake is around 11.7 ounces. Multiply that by nine and you get 105.3 ounces. That's six and a half pounds of liquid. I'm gonna be giving myself 30 minutes to take down all this food. If I can smash all this food within the time limit, then I'm gonna treat myself to some dessert, some holiday dessert because it's the holidays and I really gotta start doing some capacity training because I got some calorie challenges coming up. If you think I'm gonna be able to take all this food down within the time limit, why don't you go ahead and comment down below an ice cream emoji because there's no shake emoji and I have a lot of shakes on my table. Without further ado, Electric Empire, let's do this. The first item I'm gonna be starting with is the classic In-N-Out burger. Three, two, and one. That first bite of a warm In-N-Out burger is always amazing. After enjoying the first burger, the challenge was off to a fantastic start. All right, first burger is down and almost the first shake is down in about a minute and 49 seconds. Making good progress so far. To keep track of how many shakes I had left, I decided to flip them upside down and push them off to the side after I was done with each one. Last burger. 50% of the calories from this challenge came directly from the shakes. I knew that that much dairy was gonna be rough. All right, all of our burgers are down. We're five minutes in. Now it's time to head to the cheeseburgers. Ooh, there's nothing like an in now cheeseburger. Well, so far it's going amazing, but I feel like there's a way I can jazz all these burgers up. Unfortunately, In-N-Out doesn't serve bacon at their establishment. You know what? I feel like that's just such a shame because these burgers need some bacon. In-N-Out, if you're watching this, add bacon to your burgers. combination of the salty crispy bacon, the signature In-N-Out patty, and their iconic toasted bun blew my mind. I had to do it for the next burger. This flavor combination was so good that I had to do my really weird happy dance after eating it. I got back to the burger a few seconds later and carried on with the rest of the challenge. All right, everybody, well, we are about 12 minutes in. So far, it is going amazing. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, four shakes down. Now, my next move is to head on over to these tasty In-N-Out fries. There's a lot of hype out there about fast food fries. Obviously, McDonald's is like at the top of the list when it comes to fast food fries. But I actually think In-N-Out makes a very good fry. Comment down below what your favorite fast food fry is. For some reason, these fries had some serious crunch to them. Like, way more crunch than usual. When it comes to crunchy fries, the roof of my mouth always takes a beating. 15 and a half minutes in. Making good time. Thankfully, I only had three orders of fries to eat and I was getting through these fries very quickly. But after a few minutes of eating the fries, I remembered I needed to do something very important. That the saltiness of the In-N-Out fries dipped into a sweet In-N-Out shake is a legendary fast food combination. What's your fast food combination of choice? Comment below. All right, last order of fries. As I got into the last order of fries, I knew that the final 10 minutes of this challenge was gonna be a serious battle. The flavor fatigue was already setting in. Fries are down. Oh, we were 22 minutes and 16 seconds in. Now I gotta move to the double doubles. Oh, I love the double double. What I also love is wow sauce. So we're gonna jazz this up with some wow sauce. And you know, let's just let's throw a little bacon on there. Why not? W, oh, W. The wow sauce was everything I needed at that point. But a few seconds later, all the dairy from the shakes hit me. 
With two and a half burgers and two and a half shakes remaining, this challenge was gonna come down to the wire. But I kept pushing forward anyways. 25 minutes in. Let's go. I made my way to the second to last double double. Twenty-seven minutes in. Twenty-one seconds in. With almost six pounds of dairy in my stomach, I was doing everything I could to fight back nausea. As I got to the final double double, and then it really hit me. But with two and a half minutes remaining, I knew all I needed to do was focus on getting this burger down and finishing the last shake. The end was in sight. Fifty seconds left. I just gotta get this shake down. This one's for you guys. Oh. And just like that, everybody, at 29 minutes and 35 seconds, the entire in and out challenge times three has been completed. That was actually very tasty. Very filling, but very tasty. Now everyone, it's time for some post-challenge dessert. Now, when this challenge is being posted, it's December. One of my favorite things about December is the fact that Reese's trees drop, and I love Reese's trees. If you've never had a Reese's tree before, well, you're about to find out how amazing they are. I also decided to go out and get the M&M snowballs. I've never had these before, so I'm actually really curious to see how these taste. First, let me give them my Reese's trees. Who's ready for some holiday food challenges? Comment down below. Actually, comment down below with what holiday challenge you wanna see me do this year. You never know, I just may pick your challenge. And I'll give you a shout out if I end up picking your challenge. Reese's trees, amazing. But what's not so amazing? Dropping your candy on the floor. I heard that if you don't like and subscribe right now, this will happen to you every time you open up a package of candy for the next 10 years. Oh well, you probably don't even need the extra calories. Oh! The salty pretzel taste, combined with the tasty chocolate, these M&Ms were a flavor explosion. I made my way through the rest of the bag, and just like that, the challenge was officially complete. And just like that, everybody, that has been another food challenge. What entire menu challenge do you want to see me do next? While you're letting me know, why don't you check out my last entire menu challenge? It'll be right up on your screen for you to enjoy. Speaking of enjoyment, it would mean the world to me if you gave the video a like, and be sure to smash that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Thanks for watching this food challenge. I'll see you all in the next food challenge. Bye, everyone.